Hey there, welcome to Old Man Runner. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about trousers and tights. First, I'm gonna show a short video of me running around in them and look at their specifications. Then I'm gonna review them. Finally, I'm gonna see if I can recommend them. I'm making this video because it's cold weather here in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, for many years, I've been running in tights in cold weather, but I'm transitioning more towards trousers. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why and what I look for in tights and trousers. Let's discuss the thorny issue of over and under. So if I'm wearing tights, I'm nearly always wearing a pair of underwear under it. Sometimes I'm wearing a pair of shorts over it and I'll show you some combinations. I'm gonna do six combinations in this video. I'm never going commando. No, that's not for me. That's another video channel. Uh, I do um, always want to carry an iPhone uh, for safety reasons. You fall over, uh, you get injured, you hurt your leg, you, you pull a hamstring, God knows. At least you can ring someone or you can call a cab to get home. Um, and there's fall detect that links to the iPhone. So for all those reasons, I think carrying an iPhone is really good. And in these six combinations, I'm always able to carry my iPhone. I made a short view of me running around in the various uh, combinations out on the Shelley Banks. So let's go for a run around and look at the trousers and tights in action. Okay, the, the first combination is Under Armour Heat Gear Rush three quarter leggings. And these are the one pair that you're gonna see where I'm wearing them with a shorts over them, the unsanctioned unhalf tights. If you look at a lot of these videos, nearly always when I'm filming shoes, I, I have this combination. The Heat Gear, I have in various lengths. Uh, the three quarters is for when it's particularly cold. I don't wear them all that often. I do love them. I do love the unhalf tights because at the side of the unhalf tights, so these are the unhalf tights, uh, there's a zipper at the back uh, and there's, there's this clanky thing I can attach keys to or, or GoPro handles or whatever. Uh, and then there's two pockets down the side that'll take a phone or GoPros. And most importantly, the zip on the back will secure my keys. And so these are the, the heat gear, nothing particularly interesting about them, uh, but they are super comfortable. So, um, those are something that I use on a very regular basis. And that's the only occasion where I've usually got shorts over um, uh, tights. I'm not, I'm not a fa really that much of a fan of it. I prefer the tights over the shorts that, so that you are over the underwear. You can wash more frequently the, the lower layer, which is probably getting the most soiled. Under Armour have a really good system for carrying phones called a speed pocket. It's a slot at the front. Uh, I have it on both trousers and these perforated tights I'm gonna show you and uh, here they are, these are the Under Armour Qualifier Speed Pocket Perforated Tights. So there's perforations down the bottom of the leg, and um, I guess for a bit of ventilation, but the essential thing is there's a speed pocket at the front. So it's a horizontal slot. This is the iPhone 12 Pro Max with its uh, case on, and uh, that fits, and as you can see, it's, it's very secure. The disadvantage is that um, it's, it's right up against uh, your, your waist, and if you need to go to the toilet, if you're a man, there's a sort of uh, 
cumbersome issue there. Uh, there's also no drawstring, so that's, but the, the, the waistband is pretty tight. There's a pocket at the back for your keys, and then down at the bottom where the perforations are for ventilation, it just fits snugly against pretty much a couple of inches above your ankle. The tights that I wear the most often are the on-running long tights. Um, I wear them quite a lot. Um, they're part of their hybrid system, which I think is, well, I said it before, it's pants. Um, these are the tights. There's the, the on system. Uh, I've got five components for it. Each of the components are really like. The system is rubbish. I don't know who designed it. It's got these fiddly buttons at the side that you've got to clip in. Um, I think it's completely badly thought through. Uh, I never attach them. I mean, one example is when you when you attach, and these are designed to have an outer layer, uh, then you can't get at the, the pockets that are in the back. Um, there's no way of securing these tights. There's a sort of pull string here, but if you put any weight in these at the back, like a phone, they fall around your ankles. Uh, they are completely uh, useless for me for running, uh, but I love them. I wear them all the time. I wear, they are supremely, comfortable i i adore these things i mean not for running um i love the materials of the color there's this lovely material over the knee uh they uh they um there's little uh, zippers at the bottom to tighten them uh, i've worn these uh, to and from the chicago marathon on the plane uh fantastically comfortable uh, <laughs> i've also recently worn them to a funeral of, of all the places um luckily it didn't cause too much upset uh, <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I wear them all the time. Uh, we'll come on to a bit more about that. But, but uh, yeah, I absolutely love them, but not for running. I'm wearing most of these leggings and tights and trousers in uh, winter conditions. I mean, I wouldn't be wearing them in, in summer. And uh, if it was summer, it was rainy, I would just take the, the, the wet and be done with it. Um, but I do have a pair of on-running waterproof pants. Uh, they're also from the hybrid system. It's also, I mean, it's got the clips here. You'd be, you'd be clipping all day. You, why would you be bothered? Uh, there's a little, uh, kind of like a fake uh, fly, man's fly. It allows you to, to open a little bit, bit of room if you need to go to the toilet. Um, there are some zips that go up, uh, which is good. I, I like the zips to, to go up, which is good in these. Uh, some some uh, shorts I have, the zips go down, uh, which I don't uh, like. Yeah, so these go the zipper from from down up is closed. That's what I should should point out. And then they've got uh, they've got zippers down the bottom. Uh, these are great. They really do work when it's raining. The top part is waterproof. The bottom part isn't is uh, water resistant. Um, but yeah, they're great. And as it will become obvious in, in a couple of minutes, uh, I've started to wear more of these for for um, more than just running. Apart from you know the the on hybrid tights the, the the long tights i started to wear the trousers for uh more for day-to-day -day sort of stuff and therefore i decided to buy a few more for the last couple of years we've probably all been indoors an awful lot i certainly have been working from home almost exclusively um and in that time i've basically been buying more running gear i suppose and uh, i don't have a lot of my regular clothes anymore. I, I lost weight, did all the sizes. So I tend to have a lot of running gear. So I was in the dentist's uh, recently in my uh, on hybrid tights and I, long tights, and I, I suddenly thought it might be better to have a bit more uh, modesty about these things. So I decided to try and get another, I had the on running uh, waterproof uh, pants and I decided time to try a few more running pants. So I bought myself a pair of Janji transit pants. Um, they're incredibly comfortable. This is them here. I've forgotten the name of the color. I'll put it in the description. Um, it's a sort of bronze color, obviously. Um, and these are supremely comfortable. Uh, I'll put all of the descriptions below as the weights and uh, the cost. Um, but these are 187 grams and 6.6 .6 ounces. And I'll also put the cost and all that stuff in the, in the running video. Um, these are superb. I'm wearing these. <laughs> non-stop uh, they have again zips that that closes up there's three there's three zips uh one three pockets one on that side two on this side both will hold the phone um and then there's a smaller pocket so these two are pretty much side by side uh, down at the ankle there's a there's a stretchy sort of elasticated cuff works really well um the material is slightly stretchy. I mean, what's happened with the trousers, I think, is, is that the materials have got so much better. They're not like the old joggers. These are relatively lightweight. Th these particular ones are DWR finished, so they'll take a little bit of light rain. 
I wore them to and from Arizona. I, here's a picture of me in the, walking around the airport in them. I, I wore them, they were supremely comfortable. I went running last night. It was too wet for them. It was pouring rain for over an hour. They, they won't take that, but light rain and they're fine. And again, they're supremely comfortable. I, I sort of stick them on and wear them for days on end. After my experience at the funeral in the tights, I decided I needed to get something a bit more, well, funereal. So I bought myself these which is a pair of sore running black uh, run trousers. Uh, and uh, I discovered that these, I wasn't sure what these would be like. They're not inexpensive, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with them. They're very warm. Uh, they're heavier than the Janjis and more expensive. I listed the cost below. They're 250 grams or 8.87 ounces. Again, they've got two zips that, that uh, go up and the up upper side they're on each side there's no back pockets they're much thicker than i thought they'd be because they're uh, merino wool in in part and they're super comfortable and they're very warm i mean it would really want to be a cold day if you'd be out running them but they're also great to be lounging around in <laughs> they're, they're really comfortable uh, the zips down the bottom to at, at the ankle are really good previously i had a pair of uh, sore running uh, dual fabric i think 2.0 tights and they're really tight on my ankle uh, if you look on sore running sites everybody is really thin uh there's, there's nobody with fat ankles uh so so i found those really tight i mean excruciating sometimes uh these on the other hand are fantastic they're expensive um but if you can handle it they're worth it and of course you're going to be wearing them all the, i mean i'm going to be wearing them all the time i wear i could wear them to work i could wear them around the place so they'll they'll get a lot of wear some of the running gear particularly the waterproof stuff that i buy gets almost no wear uh, these are going to get a lot of wear i'll put a list of costs in the description below um soar and janji are out of the uk so when you buy them in ireland uh it's in and other parts of the eu it's complicated with tax and shipping but i'll put the cost as per their website down below and of course janji if you're in the states you can just buy them direct um and uh, so in terms of cost the soar running and the on running is are the most expensive they're expensive product i do think they're worth it they are long lasting they're beautifully made and i'll get great wear out of them uh, but in terms of cost janji stick it a bunch should you buy these well all of the ones I've shown you, I can thoroughly recommend. I run on them regularly, at least 10 to 12K in all of them. I was out in the Janjis last night. Um, I was out in the Soar a couple of nights ago. I'm not sure what the weather is today, but I'll be out in one or other of these possibly. Um, they're fantastic. They're all really good. I've found that trousers have improved running trousers immensely. The better materials mean that you don't get that huge heavy weight that you get in what used to be called joggers. Maybe they're still called joggers. Uh, these are lightweight and super comfortable. Uh, and as I have a vague feeling of maturity approaching me, I think I need to get out of the tights and into, uh, <laughs> particularly after my uh, recent experience with dentists and funerals, I need to get out of the tights and into the trousers. Uh, and also as I come out of the COVID chrysalis, I'm gonna get more wear out of wearing running trousers just for day-to-day -day stuff. They will cost more, but I'll get more wear out of them and hence better value. So. I'm on the lookout for more. So any suggestions, pop them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button. There'll be all sorts of stuff, as I mentioned, in the descriptions below. And as always, I'll happily go through anything you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there and some related videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.